These new CFL compact fluorescent bulbs are supposed to save you six bucks a year per bulb. The people love these because they minimize global warming. These are save the earth light bulbs. When you put in these light bulbs, you got to be really careful that you don't drop these. You don't want to break one. I bet you didn't know mercury was in these things. If you break one of these, you'll be exposed to eight times the OSHA permissible limit. If your little toddler breaks one of these, he'll be exposed to 800 to 8,000 times the OSHA permissible limit. Is that only 30% of this becomes vaporized and contaminates your entire home. The other 70% stays on the light bulb fragments and then you just throw them in a the landfill and then of course it just gets into the groundwater. Maybe it's time to tell you what happens when you break one of these light bulbs. A. You need to open all the house windows. You need to evacuate the home, shut down the HVAC. Then you need to seal up all the cold air returns and supply ducts. Then you have to use proper clothes for cleaning. Then you get yourself a broom, some sticky tape, and you're gonna need a jar with a lid on it. Once you've done cleaning, then you gotta call your local building department and ask them for proper disposal. I bet in the future you're gonna have to take your broken light bulbs or burned out light bulbs to a special facility that handles mercury contaminated light bulbs. And I'm quite sure there'll be a fee. Some studies show that these compact fluorescent light bulbs produce a lot of ultraviolet radiation and can cause skin cancer and even burn your skin. You know, some German scientists found that these bulbs have the chemical toxin napathylene which is linked to cancer in laboratory animals. And also styrene, which is a human carcinogen. I bet those Germans are selling those non-mercury filled LED light bulbs. <laughs> I know some of you are thinking, I'm just gonna throw these in the trash, no one will ever know. Uh-uh. Those smart electric meters we're all getting are going to know exactly how many of these light bulbs you have burning and how many are burning at what time, and they're going to know when it was time to replace them. And I bet every five years someone's going to knock on your door and say, excuse me, sir, can you show me your receipts for your proper light bulb disposal? And I bet if you don't have one, you might get fined. Gee, I wonder why they shut down the last incandescent light bulb factory in America last year. Wait, did I say G or did I say G-E?